Hey everyone, it's Lizzie again, and welcome to another video where I draw and talk about things. This week's video is a little different from my last couple videos for a few reasons. As you can see, I'm not drawing in my book this week. This drawing is also different because unlike my drawings in the last couple weeks, I entered this drawing with artist gold, an idea, a concept. Instead of the doodle style drawings that I usually do, I did several sketches, planned out, and executed an actual drawing. This drawing definitely took more effort and more time, but as I said in my first video, I'm interested in improving my skill, and I think that I can see some improvements here. It feels good. Really good. So why did I draw a snail this week? And what's with the snail footage at the beginning of the video? Well, I'll tell you about it. When I was a little girl, I was extremely fascinated with so-called bugs. My first favorite book was The Very Hungry Caterpillar, and I often checked out books with different diagrams of bugs when I was a child. Though technically not a bug, at least I don't think, I became especially obsessed with snails. Maybe it was the idea that snails carried their homes on their backs. Or maybe it was the thought of a protective shell that interested me so much. You see, as a child, and even to some degree now as an adult, I am quite introverted. So the thought of having some kind of protection from the outside world, and the idea of being able to retreat into a shell, kind of sounds nice and protective. As a child, I moved around quite a lot too. So maybe the idea of snails carrying a house on their backs comforted me as well. As for in my adulthood, I'm still a little obsessed with snails. Some of my favorite books have snails in them, such as Junji Ito's Uzumaki, where people turn into these snail-like creatures, and House of Leaves, where one character dreams about climbing into a large snail shell and eating its flesh. A little morbid, I know, but what can you do? As for the snail footage at the beginning of this video, earlier this week Ryan and I went to a local lake and make, made ecospheres. If you don't know what those are, they're tiny, self-sustaining ecosystems enclosed in something like a jar. So that's what we did. We scooped up some dirt and water into jars and sealed them up and came home. About an hour after we got home, we realized that we had several snails, and the populations have just continued to grow ever since. What's really funny about all this is that I actually started this drawing a few days before we got the idea to go make ecospheres, so the fact that this video has snail footage is completely random. But this wasn't the stuff that I wanted to talk about in this video. I wrote a story that goes along with this drawing. So here it is. Once upon a time, there was a young witch who lived deep in the forest among the trees in a home that she made out of sticks and mud. One day, a storm came and her house was knocked down. So she decided to go and live somewhere new. She walked and walked through the forest during the day and slept under the trees during the night. She did this for many days and nights until one day she came upon a large snail with a shell the size of her foot, though the snail was just a baby. It was at that point that the snail cried out, help me, help me, for my shell is cracked and if it is not repaired, I will die. So the young witch picked up the snail and patched his shell with some mud and grass and the snail went on his way. The witch began again to walk and walk until she found some place new where she could make her home. Many days and nights passed and she still had not found a good place for her home. One day, the young snail crossed paths with her again, though this time he was much larger. The top of his shell reached her hip. Again he cried, 
help me, help me, for my shell is cracked, and if it is not repaired, I will die. It was at that point that the young witch saw that the crack she had repaired earlier had spread toward the center of the snail shell. Again, she patched up the shell with mud and grass, but this time the snail did not leave. Instead, he asked the young witch why she was traveling through the forest, to which she answered that she was trying to find a new place to build her home. To this, the snail replied, Two times now you have fixed my shell and saved me from death, and in a few weeks my shell will be larger than you are. After that, my shell will continue to grow until I die. I owe you my life now twice. Let my shell grow for a little while longer, and you can build your house on my back. Then I can take you wherever you wish to go, and home can always come with you. That is how I will repay you. The young witch thought a moment, and decided to take the snail's request. So she waited for several weeks before she began building. But in that time, the snail shell continued to crack, and the witch continued to repair it first with mud and grass, and then with mud and stone. Soon, the young witch had a new home, and her snail friend's shell was completely covered with stone. And as the snail grew larger and larger, he kept his promise to the witch, who was not so young anymore. They traveled through the forest and over mountains, and together they each had a home everywhere they went until the end of their days. The End Okay, everyone, I think that's all I have this time. So, enjoy the rest of my drawing. Stay creative. I'll see you next time. Thank you.